Rebecca Melanson, I'm the Executive Director of the Austin Independent Business Alliance. And I'm here to advocate in support of Item 60. So while we've heard a little bit of information about the 2% of the visitors Austin sees that come to the convention center, that's great. But I want to talk about the other 98%. So why do they come here? Well, I can tell you, and I think everyone in this room would agree, they come here for Austin. They come here for the music and the arts and the restaurants and the food and the parks and the local businesses that so well express our culture. So let's talk about that 98% and, and look at what that really does to our community. Um, these are the businesses that really do make Austin Austin. Our small local businesses uh, really reflect our culture and they express every day the eclectic nature that people come here for and that what we're known for. These are also the same businesses that pay the lion's share of taxes. The local businesses put three times the money in our local community when money spent at a local business versus a chain store. That was established in the landmark study that AIBA did in 2002 and has since been duplicated all across the country. So uh, where people spend their money when they come here does make a difference. These are the same businesses that represent 80% of the job growth in Austin. We hear big headlines when a big business comes here and hires 1,000 people. Nobody notices when local business hires 1,000 people because it's day-to-day -day business. But council after council, year after year, resolution after resolution, local business is ignored. Break that train today. Vote for this item and, and give some resolute notice to local business and what they contribute to our community. This resolution uses a community asset, the hot tax money, to support other important community assets. Music, parks, local business, all the things we've been talking about. All of these things, not only do they bring tourists to our city, they support our local community too. It's not an either or option. We can do both. This resolution, by investing in all of the things that we're talking about, including local business, invests in all parts of Austin, not just downtown. Nothing at all against downtown. Lots of local businesses downtown, but there's a whole world of Austin outside of downtown. This resolution, by investing in the things that really attract tourists, that attract the other 98% of tourists who come here, can increase tourism, not just a little tiny bit, but a huge amount. In closing, I would say what you should be asking yourselves is not what happens to tourism in Austin if we don't grow our conventions, or even if we lose a few conventions. You should be asking yourself, what happens to tourism in Austin if we lose our local businesses and our soul? Thank you.